Hi all, my name is Yahya Kemal and today we are going to look into trifles by Susan Glasspell in the aspects of gender roles. We will start with a quick background and then uh, examine some expect examples from the play, finally give it a conclusion and hopefully discuss a question in the end. So let's start. Uh, Susan Glasspell, uh, as you can see here, is a writer who mostly produced literary works taking place in her hometown, Iowa, in Midwest. She mostly posts her times uh, ideal woman in her works and be uh, became a feminism icon after her death. Trifles uh, is one of her most important plays. It has themes such as uh, sisterhood, women's oppression, and uh, blindness of men. In this play, we will see how women defy these expectations and make serious decisions on their own in spite of men. So, let's start with uh, ideal woman in the eyes of men. What uh, ideal woman meant in those times? Perhaps uh, who kept her house clean, or looked after the children, or the elderly, or even her husband. So let's see. Our first example from the uh, play is from country attorney, the lawyer. He says, uh, dirty towels, not much of a housekeeper, would you say, ladies? After uh, he says that, after he cleans her, his sorry, his hands with that tower, towel, and uh, here uh, this man accused Minnie, our protagonist, of uh, not being clean as a wife, and our two characters, Mr. Peters and Mrs. Hale saw it as a sign of Winnie's not caring about uh, her surroundings anymore. As you can see here in these three trifles, trivial uh, details, women start to see more than men. And the second quote is from, again, the lawyer. No, it's not cheerful. I shouldn't say she had the homemaking instinct. It is as if like uh, the woman should have that instinct, instinct, like she should make the house feel like home. However, when you think about it, if you live uh, with a man, with a dominant man like John, it is quite uh, hard for a person, not for any woman, but for a person to make a house feel like home, especially if you you don't feel like you are at, at home. And I don't think Minnie ever felt that she is uh, in home, at home. So again, we saw that uh, the men are suspicion, suspicious about the woman's woman and they accuse of her not being the, not having the homemaking instinct. And again, the lawyer, of course. Uh, he goes, well, ladies, have you decided whether she was going to kill it or not yet? And this is actually after they find a uh, material. And uh, I mean, by them, I mean the woman, uh, Mrs. Peter and Mrs. Hale, of course, and they were talking about uh, what she was going to do with it, uh, just to, you know, just to understand what was going on in her mind. And of course, the men see this as a as a way of uh, undermining woman's mind, woman's logic. They. Uh, as if the woman uh, had no, let's say, the uh, woman couldn't comprehend a, even a little thing, 
and they would uh, argue about such a trifle matter which would lead to nowhere in their mind. However, women were of course uh, again trying to uh, understand Minin's mind, what uh, was going on in her mind. However, men were not interested or didn't see it that way. And again, in the last uh, paragraphs, the attorney again says after the after he saw the material materials the two women uh, had with them to uh, take them to Mini, and he said, "Oh, I guess they are not very dangerous." things the ladies had picked up. No, Mrs. Peters doesn't need supervising. For that matter, a sheriff's wife married to the law. And again, we see that uh, when a man swears on something, it is like the woman, uh, her, his wife, is obliged to that too. Which is also very not uh, logical because it's uh, it represents women as uh, not having the capacity to have their own decisions, but they just go with what men see right. So this is the ideal woman in the man's eye, eyes. And let's see now how an ideal woman is, is in the eyes of Susan Glasper. So the first quote we are going to examine is from Mrs. Hale. She is the uh, neighbor, uh, a person who lives in the neighborhood, in the same neighborhood with Minnie. And uh, he, sorry, she uh, reflects her ideas about John, who is murdered by Minnie. Yes, good. He didn't drink and kept his word as well as most, I guess, and paid his debts. But he was a hard man, Mrs. Peters, just to pass the time of day with him, like a robin that goes to the bone. And here we see that uh, the question arises, if a, if a man... Uh, sorry, let me take it from the beginning. Uh, how a man's behavior, behaviors outside the home, outside the house, uh, really reflect how she, he he behaves at home. I mean, yeah, he he was well known and well respected in in town. However, at home, he behaved. Uh, he really abused many in psychological ways he and uh, deprived of he had uh, taken minis uh, friendships relationships and yeah she he abused her and secondly second quote again from mrs hale I know how things can be for women. I tell you, it's queer, Mrs. Peters. We live close together and we live far apart. We all go through the same things. It's all just a different kind of the same thing. And again, I think this is the most important quote from the play because it really shows how women uh, live through the same things at their own house, at their own, own houses, like washing the uh, washing or looking after the children. However, we also know that uh, the biggest difference in those houses or in those women's lives, how is how their uh, husbands behave them, treat them. So in Minnie's case, John behaved him behaved her badly and abused her. And the final quote is from the final 
paragraph of the play. Actually, it is the last sentence of the play. We call it not it, Mr. Sanderson, Mr. Henderson. And this, I took those this uh, quote because it really reflects uh, how the woman nutted the investigation uh, by uh, hiding the evidences, and they did it without uh, their husband's knowledge uh, on their own. Uh, with sisterhood. Now, in conclusion, we have seen that women are more than what they are forced to be. In addition to being their good husband's good wives at houses, they are good at other jobs too. They are friends who understand each other. And we saw this uh, during the two women's investigation. And they are intelligent enough to use their position, positions when necessary as how uh, Mrs. Peters uh, uh, hid, hid the materials because uh, she was trusted by the attorney because she was a uh, sheriff's wife. And moreover, they are sisters who support each other when in need, even if it's, it is late. Because, and it is, I say because, it is because uh, I say it late because uh, Mrs. Hale said that uh, she wished she could help Minnie. However, uh, I don't think that she had any way uh, helping her. And of course, Minnie murdered her husband and it was the last straw, straw so it was late in my opinion. So now, uh, let's look at the question. What do you think would have happened if, if John murdered Minnie and not Minnie murdered John? How different would the officer's approach to the crime scene? Would we ever learn about Minnie's abuse? Uh, would John's position in the gen gender-based society make a difference? If so, how? Take into consideration the cases happening in Turkey. And this is my presentations uh, final. That's all from me. Hope you enjoyed it. Have a nice day.